Okay everybody, so here is the Acme Edge Sander that we are using as the basis for our neck sanding rig. So as you can see here, the shop is a total mess. Um, so here's the edge sanding component and you'll notice this is, well maybe you can't notice, but this is a four inch drive wheel not a six inch drive wheel. So this is an old school unit before the six by 80 belt was standardized. Right now it's a six by, I'm sorry, right now it's a four by 80. And the interesting thing about this tool is that the off edge side is actually intended to be used just like the edge side was. So on most of the modern tools, you're not supposed to use the other side. But on this one, it has this plate here and you were going, you were supposed to be able to attach something uh, like a, uh, we used to use it for radiusing and you would, uh, you know, you could, you could make molding and that kind of stuff with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this block here, which slides in and out to our neck shaping block, which we finished the other day. So this is what the neck shaping block looks like and it is several thicknesses of birch plywood and it's glued and screwed together and then I put these half inch um, bolts through it just to kind of hold everything together because if something's worth doing it's worth overdoing and then I'm going to attach our uh, any Audi thing to the block here get a better view and once we do that, then we'll be able to run the belt around this guy here and I'll go get a neck and you can see what that's going to look like. So because this is a custom tool, we pretty much made it to work exactly with our necks. So the belt will ride along this edge here and we'll be able to shape the back of the neck here. Now I know what you're thinking. Um, you're probably thinking a couple things. One is how are you going to stretch a, a 4 by 80 belt over something that is clearly longer than 80 now? Well, I'm glad you asked because we went to our uh, friendly neighborhood belt source which is A&H Abrasives and specced some 4 by 92 and a quarter inch belts. Um, and they got those out to us in like two days. So we really had to get cracking on this. So we're going to cover the edge of this with the uh, graphite paper like you find on most platens and um, test it out. Okay, so we've been using the uh, deadhead sander. And again, this isn't a true deadhead sander, but we've been using this guy for a couple days now and it works phenomenally. So what you do is you actually take your neck and put it on this outside platen here. Oh, by the way, you can't see it, but what we did is we put the uh, graphite paper on this side. So it's, it, this thing gets hot, but it doesn't get as hot as if it was just wood. So you can actually take your neck and you can sand it this way and um, go from this to round in not very many minutes. In fact, why don't we do one? Okay, so here we have it. The neck is uh, considerably more round than it was before. I still need to come in here with a rasp and clean this area up around my volute, and I need to clean it up around my heel area. Um, and I do that, and then I'll actually come back over here to the deadhead sander and um, clean up all the scratches from the rasp or the, as many as I can. The nice thing about it is, is because the belt goes the same direction as the grain, all the scratches are uh, basically everywhere they need to go. Then what we'll do is we'll get a block with some, I don't know, 150 on it, 
and do the very, very last little tiny bits of shaping. And, um, you know, then we're ready to, uh, to do the final, final sanding and um, fret and glue these necks in. So the Deadhead Sander has been a super, super cool tool and has made, uh, made a lot of changes in the way that we make necks. Um, and I want you to remember, this is still a vintage old school tool. Check it out. You'll see them in the uh, Fender Custom Shop catalog if you have one, by the way. Uh, one other thing that's neat about the, uh, the Deadhead Sander is with these contours here, um, we can also do the, uh, the like the, Fender style, uh, the tummy cut is super easy on these and the, uh, the forearm contour goes like a house of fire right through this. So uh, Chris is gonna be do some, doing some experimenting with that later on. So um, if you have any questions about the deadhead sander or if you would uh, like, I can even send you some of the links to the pictures that I used and reverse engineered to build this guy. Um, Boy, please let me know. I love talking about this thing. Like I said, it's fast becoming my favorite tool in the shop. Maybe one day I'll show you a video of my very favorite tool in the shop. Um, so again, if you, uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, guys. Uh, and if you like content like this, I would urge you to subscribe because uh, in addition to all the dorky videos that I do, um, I do lots and lots and lots of videos about cool tools and cool processes. In fact, if you want to see some of those, please leave me a note in the comment below. And if you like the video, do the old thumbs up thing. So uh, this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I did. Thanks for watching, everybody.